Welcome to this Steagall video about sections in Google Sites. So what do sections provide in a Google Site? You can add any content to a section like text, an image or an embedded item from Drive. You can add a background emphasis colour or a custom background image. The section will automatically adjust the background to improve text readability. And you can align your content horizontally so your content will flow and linearize on mobile responsive versions. Let's see how this works. The first section you find on your Google site is the header section where you can find the header title and the page title. In this header section you can only add the site name and the page name. You can change the image on the background and you can upload your own file, you can choose from the gallery that Google Sites provides, you can even use an image from the internet. In our demonstration here, we're going to use a file we've already uploaded. The file we're going to choose is a solid background colour. At the moment, the header section does not give any ability to choose a solid colour. As you can see, now we've added that solid colour, the Google Sites has automatically adjusted the background colour to make the text more readable. There's no options on this feature, it's automatic. So you can either have it on or turned off. To remove the readability adjustment, use the star icon in the bottom right hand corner of the section. As you can see, that's now been turned off and we see the true colour of the background image I uploaded and the fade that is automatically added is removed. To add a new section to the site, you just need to add some content. You can either add text from the right hand side there in the insert box, or if you double click on a mouse, you have what's called the disk where you can add content from. We've added a text box and as you can see, this has added a new section to the site. You can add some text to that text box. You can then adjust whether it's a title or a heading. You can adjust the text box width as well. To alter the section background, uh, you hover over the palette icon on the left hand side. This allows you to have the standard background, which is what you see at the moment. You can have emphasis one, which is a darker gray in this particular theme. You can have emphasis two, which is your accent color for the theme. If you wish to change this accent color, you go to themes on the right, and you can change the accent color underneath the theme you have chosen. Finally, you can choose to add a background image. Again, you have the same image picker. So again, for this particular demonstration, we will use a section background we've already uploaded to Drive. Again, you'll see that this gets uploaded instantaneously and also gets adjusted for readability. So as you can see, the text went from white to black and also the image was slightly faded. If we remove this readability adjustment, you can see the text remains black, but the image gets unfaded. You can also add more content to a section. Again, we can use the disk. We've double clicked on our section and now we're going to add an image. Again, this image we have already stored in Drive. You can use your horizontal section to help lay out your content. We'll resize this image and you can see that this section is automatic and they're ready for you. Sections currently have some limitations. We've been trialing the new Google Sites for a while and we fed back to the Google Sites team some important feedback and improvements that we think would make Google Sites a much better product. First of all, a section does not provide any height control. You cannot control the height of this section, it's automatic from the amount of content you have in the section. So if we were to add more content to the text box, as you can see, the section changes accordingly. You cannot do any vertical grouping of content. 
to demonstrate this, if we wanted to move our image here and stick it above the text, when we do so, it actually makes a new section. There's no way to have that sitting above that text block. So at the moment, vertical grouping is something that sections do not support. Finally, you need to be careful with your background images. If you upload a background image for a section that's wider than 1176 pixels, Google Sites will automatically resize the image so that its width is no bigger than 1176 pixels. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. And you can find more new Google Sites videos at stegel.com.